In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is a function in programming? Now, functions are extraordinarily important in programming, and it would be very, very hard to do computer programming without using functions. Now, the simplest way to think about a function is you've got input, process, and output. Now, we could think about this as input, then function, and then output. So essentially a function is something into which you put an input and you get some output out. Uh, so we could call in a function, in a, a main program, we could call something, we can just call it function for now, and we could say, well, the input is A and we want an output B. You could put it in like this. So the, this function would be able to use A and B. So it would, you put some number in for A, and you would use that inside the function and then you would have an answer come out and you would store that in B. Or, or alternatively, you could do something like Q equals function of A. And we would talk about this as you're calling the function with the value A. So your A would be, A would be used somewhere in the function and it would produce some result and you would put the result you make the function equal to the result, and that would equal Q, and you could continue using Q um, in your program. And so, really, what is the point? Let's come across here and uh, do a doodle to see what we're actually doing. So, say you've got some main program here. So, you'd be typing in your main program. This is where you'll be primarily working from. And you could just work down through your main program and then come out here into a function. So some separate file. And then you could feed that back into the main program. And the advantage of this is, I mean, this could be 10,000 lines long. And that's going to really clutter up your program. You'd rather have a nice list of functions and maybe just do a little bit in your program. You wouldn't want to stick in 10,000 lines of code and have to jump up and down. The code would become extremely difficult to work with. So it's much easier to control everything with functions and switch between files with a function named, um, perhaps this is um, Gauss elimination. Maybe, perhaps not 10,000 lines, but this would do a specific function. And so if something went wrong, you would know what part is doing what. We split up into all the different functions of the code. So in a real program, you would have something like a main function here, and you would have all sorts of, uh, you maybe have a function here, and coming out here, and maybe a, another function, just using f for shorthand, coming in, and you can even have functions inside functions. Um, for example, a good example of a function is we could maybe have, if we come across here, a equals cos x. That is a function. Usually it's built into a programming language, so you don't have to write it. But how do you actually get a computer to find the cosine? You have to be moving around all of the bits, because computer, computers think in binary. So someone has got to have written some function. And you don't want to have to uh, write how to do cosine. You don't have to write a series of computer instructions to the computer every single time you want to use cosine or sine or hyperbolic sine or tangent or any other kind of standard maths function. You only want to have to write something that is bizarre. The other advantage is other people may have wrote code in the past that does a specific function. So you can use their code to save you time, just stick it in as a function and call it. Uh, it's also quite good for fault finding. For example, you could add in some func call some function and then put it back in, then this would go, you would get an error here. And so that would immediately tell you where in the program you're supposed to look. If you just add in a new function and it's the whole program stops working, well, you're going to look at what's wrong with this function, how is it handling things, um, what's the input to this function, is that input right? 
So it's quite good for fault finding. It'd be far harder to find the fault if you'd put every single one of these functions in here and the code was a million lines long. So hopefully you can uh, appreciate that um, functions are extremely useful and they are absolutely core element of writing a computer program. So hopefully this is helpful to you and you understand conceptually what a function is and why we use them. And so finally, thank you for watching.